United States and international military, law enforcement and civilian students in training visited the Museum of Aviation today. These students come from Fort Benning. 41 NBC's Amber Lake was able to follow them around the museum. Amber. These students are attending the Command and General Staff Officer course at the Western Hemisphere Institute for Security Cooperation. These students are attending the Command and General Staff Officer course at the Western Hemisphere Institute for Security Cooperation. This course is the same as the one taught to U.S. Army students at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, but what makes this one different is the fact that it's taught in Spanish. Coming to the Museum of Aviation, they can see uh, what, what our airmen were doing, in this case focusing on World War II, but there's a whole other perspective, a whole other way of, of fighting war that that's, uh, we think a about a lot today with combined arms and so on, but, but it's just a wonderful perspective into history for them. The students were able to tour a B-29 and B-17 bomber plane in the Scott Hangar exhibit. The purpose of the visit is to study aerial bombing strategy during World War II using the museum as a classroom. We definitely appreciate the Air, Air Force and the support that they provide us at times. Um, but for the course that we are in, it's uh, very interesting to see the things that we are learning in the classroom and coming out here and touch the, the gear, basically. Most of these students are soldiers, so their main focus is on the ground. The tour is a good way for them to see what our airmen were doing and gain a different perspective on fighting war. So if this students attending the Institute come from countries throughout the Western Hemisphere. This is the third year the museum has done the tour. Thank you, Amber. Around 70 students from the Institute were there today.